Might as well put your stuff down. Well, why is that? So you guys, I mean, obviously the sign, no parking beyond this point. Oh, yeah. That's hardly uh, really too big signs for stuff. Anybody have any firearms? I no. do. Okay. Does anybody have any? Like yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. All right, before I start today's video, I just want to start this out with a little bit of context. Otherwise, this is going to be really confusing. So those of you who do not live in Cleveland, Ohio, the pier, which is where this video takes place, is a very common meeting spot for a lot of motorcyclists, despite the city not really liking that fact. So this video took place in February, early February. Like It was like a random 70 degree day that we had. It was nice at night. And a bunch of motorcyclists decided to get their bikes out and go ride, despite the fact that a lot of them haven't caught up on their registration, haven't caught up on maintenance as you're gonna see in the video and what ends up happening is this is really hilarious interaction between the bikers and the cops now I don't really want to get into an argument of who's in the right who's in the wrong one of the bikers decided that even though a bunch of sheriffs pull up on the bikers one of the bikers decided that he didn't want to take any sort of ticket or heat and decided to hop on his bike and push a cop out of the way in order to get away granted this police officer jumps and lunges at the, the biker but at the same time he is committing a felony he is running for the cops so at that point you kind of give up the right not be touched by the cops at that point like they're going to do whatever they can to try and stop you if you're committing a felony so at the end of the day the biker's committing a felony a biker jumps at him cop misses hits the curb biker gets away now you have about 15 to 20 bikers who are left there to deal with the heat and to be fair i think the cops went a little bit easy on the bikers i think they ended up getting off very easily so this video is from my friend kenny who submitted this to me to edit and then post so most of this video is going to be from his perspective and so i'm going to shut up now i'm going to go enjoy my ride and you guys get to enjoy the video and at the end i'm going to give a little bit of my opinion on what actually happened and what the end result was so enjoy all right, guys. Oh. Might as well put your stuff down. Well, why is that? So you guys, I mean, obviously the sign, no parking beyond this point. Oh, yeah. That's hardly uh, really too big signs. Do you have any firearms? I don't. Okay. Does anybody have any? Oh my God, dude! What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. It's, it's Holy shit. shit. Probably not even licensed, whatever. That's a like, you know, guys get your I IDs mean, out right now, everybody here. Right. Everybody get IDs out. No one has firearms here? I know. You do? Yeah. Where's your firearm at? It's on my side. Okay, right. okay. that's yeah, fine. As long as you don't touch uh, it, we're going to be straight straight. Yeah, you don't have one in your bag? Yeah, my wallet. Okay. No, do you have a CCW? I have a weapon. How about this? Let's all move over to the bleachers over there and have a seat. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? So, oh. everybody have a seat. What the actual? So, how come we don't have a point on this? I can ignore I really, like, alright, so I took this off for the first time today. It's been torn, right? Okay. In my garage, I had it off. Young man, have a and seat they, down with everybody uh, else. Yeah. So, guys money. like that ruin it for everybody else. Picture. Hence why we're here for this exact yeah. fucking thing. All these burnouts are here. There's a sign clearly posted that says, do not park behind here. This is a sidewalk, not a parking lot. You guys park out there. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. And, and lo and behold, there's a bunch of bikes with no fucking plates. That one's not mounted right. This one's not mounted right. Who all has a motorcycle endorsement? Raise your hand. Because we're going to check. My license is right here. Okay. I'm going to go down the line one at a time. All right. Anybody have warrants? My dad's a cop in the same. Six, seven, two, four with no plates. Sorry. So, any, I can show you a video. I make motorcycle content, and it sits in my garage. It's the first time it's been out for months. So this is here. I took it off, so, so people can't see my plate when I'm making content. And I honestly, it's sitting. I can, I know exactly where it's sitting. Yeah, and I bet you, you guys. Why are you on your plates? So I have fled. I have no idea where that guy really is. No, I totally understand. I like. Well, I, I, I can show you any time. I have never not had a plate. You can take plates off while you're doing the pictures, and you got to put them back on. I know. You're gonna get wrecked out. You're gonna die. I rode motorcycles my whole life. My dad was a motorcycle policeman I grew up on. I drove sport bikes, I drove Harleys. Who who all knows the dude that took off? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If someone wants have. to throw his name out there, we can ID him. They might not get their bike towed today. No, Just never. saying, because four of them right now are going to get on the record. And how they put it on the record is going to be lifting them up. It's not a flatbed. 
Two decades. So, yeah. Uh, that was me. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 You um, take that off for so the rest of the CRS. Okay, yeah. Let's yeah. Look, see this one story. Yeah. When you outride a registration, is it affect like that is not on your first game? None of them are saying they don't. Yeah, I'm not doing it. We didn't do anything wrong. Why you expired? No way. Huh? No way. No way. I didn't even check. My bad. I had to oh, be a damn. Is it the yeah, sticker that's expired? Is this a Kawasaki too? Yes, yeah, sir. What size? 636. Is this a Ducati? Nope. What is this thing? Aprilia. Oh, it's a special sounding thing. Oh yeah, it's special, all right. <laughs> Real quick. What, is this dope? It's not dope, though. Now, hold the T U zero. No, that's an O. Whose car is this? What's your? I ran you, right? Yeah. What's your last name? W I. Now see, that's how a plate is supposed to be. What the hell is this? It's a Yamaha R1. Yeah. I don't like those. Okay. So, E40. Yeah, that's still wrong. You got it? Yeah. Who, who's is this? Yeah. And what's your last name? Green Hill. Green Hill. Sure. Black. Is that a Ninja too? No, nah, that's a uh, Yamaha. Oh, that's the right. Uh. You get this one? I didn't get those two. This one shouldn't even be on the roadway with the tires. Who's is this one? Oh, damn. I just, I just saw that today. Did you just do that? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. Oh, let's let's be real. We're all adults here. When I walk up to the car, I can oh, see if a plate's go. expired. This tire is completely exposed, so when I get on it, I can see it. You didn't just see that. I, I, let's be real. We, can we agree that you didn't just see that? Uh, no, that part was on the bottom when I was looking at it. But the ball was, tire, though. Was, I'm not talking see. about the the, it's the Honda wire, but the ball uh, tire. Mine, we could both agree that you saw that. I, it's no, been bald for I, a minute. I, I had this is my first ride uh, since winter. I didn't. I honestly. Where Where do you park the bike? I park it in my garage. Okay. So when you look at it in the like garage, I know feet. I'm a car guy. When yeah. I go when I go out in the garage, I look at my car. I'm like, wow, that thing's awesome. Like, like I should probably buy some new tires, or I, I'd like <laughs> to get some headers for it, or maybe you know refill my nitrous. I'm sure you had to see that there has a bald tire. I wouldn't have drove it if I knew it had a bald tire. It sits in my garage in a dark corner on a yeah. uh, lifted up. So on, a, on stands, and I really don't look at it too what? much. Um, Do you have a way to fix that plate the correct way today um, before I, you leave? That's the way I bought it, but I could try bending it. I'm, I'm not sure. Do you want me to try? Well, all the ones that are underneath, either going to get fixed on the way out of here they before you be. leave, yeah, or you're going to bend them, or we're going to write you a ticket. All right, I can bend and them. This one's expired. Any, any bikes that... Any bikes that are parked out there, we're not even gonna fucking look at. So you can advise if you come back here again, if you park the correct way, we're not even gonna blink an eye. The guys that did this is what ruined it for all y'all. And the guy that did what he did over here ruined it for y'all. Are we clear? I understand you all. Oh, it's funny with this one? This one right here? Yeah. I probably have the stickers in the mail, I just haven't really checked. Like, oh. It's my first time out, so. The computer never lies. I'll, I'll see you in a second here. I have all of it. He's I'm claiming he's got stickers now. Josh, you got info on that. My bike said you got stickers for that. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I, I understand. I mean, the, the guy that. Right. 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 So, right. That was good. Yeah, this is no, it. That's yeah. a guy that's parked all the way over there. All right, now with the creative juices flowing a little bit, I'm sure you guys can tell that those cops were kind of funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kind of chuckled when I was putting this video together. I'm like, why can't my cop interactions ever go like this? I always get the cops that are like, I mean, to be fair, I kind of get warnings most of the time, but I always got like the, the, the stick in the mud cops that are kind of like tough or not really much of a sense of humor. Anyway, so the result of the video is my friend with the Ducati V4S, he ended up getting towed. The guy who was recording the video from his bike, and the Kawasaki ZX6R, he got towed. And everybody else, I believe, got let off with potentially either plate tickets or just like nothing at all just like get out of here now those guys were trespassing the park i believe closes at nine or so or even at sunset and so you're not supposed to be at that park past a certain time in the past they've really never enforced that rule until recently and so now it's becoming less and less of an ideal spot to meet so if you live in cleveland and you want to go visit the spot my best advice is to park in an actual parking spot like they say in the video the cops do not want people parking beyond like the barriers where people are walking which is understandable yes but it's just frustrating because none 
lot of this stuff was enforced in the past until now because of this one biker who decided to run for the cops. And it just sucks with this like group punishment stuff where one biker ends up messing it up for everybody else. If people would have behaved themselves and been chill, this could have been a great spot for many years to come, but now it seems like we're going to have to find a new spot and I still don't know where that's going to be. For now, I'm really enjoying just riding by myself and riding with a few of my friends. I really have been trying to avoid big groups this year because and people end up trying to impress other people and people end up getting hurt and it's just not ideal all around. Plus, when riding these bigger bikes, it's really hard to have fun on these bikes in bigger groups. Like These things want to be opened up with nobody else around. Luckily, my buddy was a good sport about it. He sent me this video so I could edit it and post it and we're splitting the revenue halfway, so no big deal there. He's probably going to make his money back and then some, so not the end of the world. My friend Frank, on the other hand, who got his bike towed, really sucks because <laughs> I can't imagine getting this thing towed. It would suck. I would be so upset, which I'm pretty sure he was, so I, yeah. Anyway, my best advice from the video, don't run from the cops if you're already caught. I mean, in that video, when the cops are coming around, if you're sitting down on a chair or something and you're not sitting on your bike ready to go, please don't make a last minute decision to hop on your bike and run because it's just, it's not going to go right for anybody and you're going to end up screwing everybody that you left behind. Don't do that. It's, it's bad. Oh. Doing good? Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm recording a video. I just wanted a spot to pull off. Yeah, I was seeing if you were like out of gas or anything. No, no, no. I'm just uh, talking to myself real quick, and I'll be out of here in two minutes. Nice bike. Thank oh, you. you Appreciate it. <laughs> Thought I was going to kick me out. I'm like, I'm in the parking spot. Uh, no, it's cool. Um, anyway, uh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, if you're going to run from the cops, maybe do it in a place where no one's the wiser. Uh, don't do it in front of people, especially where they have 15 million cameras on you. You're likely going to get caught. So, um, anyway. That's about it. I'm going to go actually enjoy my ride now and not post it because hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this because me and all my friends always have our cameras on us. I don't have my 360 camera on there right now, but I always have it on my bike whenever I don't have this camera on. So stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of more random original biker shenanigans coming around. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.